Hey all, Mike here with Cine Samples, and this is the Cine Harpsichord walkthrough video. So, Cine Harpsichord, this is... Uh, the instrument itself is a modern adaptation of an instrument uh, from 1624. It's a Johannes Rukers Kolmar harpsichord, and we recorded it at the MGM scoring stage here at Sony Picture Studios. And uh, it has four stops with three distinct sonic characteristics. So I'll start with the first patch. This is the main patch. And you can hear, by default we have the full mix, Tim's mix. And I'll go through the different uh, the stops that we have. So by default, we have the single stop. And I can switch with key switches here, down here at the bottom of the, the keyboard. Or I can click, but I'll do the key switch. And double... That's the double, and then we have a triple. Okay, so I'll kind of go through the differences. I'll play, uh, well, try my best here at playing a Bach invention. <clears throat> You get the idea. Here's with the double. I can do it better. Hold on. Yes, that's how the rest of it goes. Uh, and then uh, here's the triple. Very weak left hand. Got to work on that. Okay, that was the single. All right. Now, let me just go through. So we have different... Um, these are mixes within the patch itself. This is using, uh, uh, you know, these are sort of uh, presets, as we call them. There's a dry and close. There's a more of a roomier one. We have one we call ambient, which is a mixture of room and surround with a little additional reverb. And we have one that puts the harpsichord off to the left of the orchestra. And then we have orchestra right. We have one that's a resonant. And this is uh, this is my favorite. This is this is the perspective knob, which we've begun to add it add. We've begun to add to uh, all of our keyboard instruments, uh, and this is controlled with your mod wheel. So I'm just going to move. This is a fader that is controlling CC1 modulation, and you see how they they uh, move the faders there, I'm close gradually through room, and then to 100% surround. So, so this is the close. Here's the room.
All right, so you get that flexibility uh, in mixing, and you kind of mix on the fly as you're writing, right? Okay, um, I'm going to continue on here. Oh, I didn't show you this. There's also, we have single, double, triple, and then we have something that's called buff. And this is basically, it sort of simulates the sound of a lute. There's also, some people call it a lute stop. So the buff stop is a stop that presses two pieces of soft leather against the eight foot set of strings to produce a muted pizzicato tone. And then we have this, uh, it's a round robin borrowing. Uh, and this is to you know, increase the amount of round robin that you have. It's a it's simulated round robin. We sampled everything chromatically. There's no skipping or anything. So uh, by default, it's on zero. But you can put it up to six, which takes, it borrows from notes um, that, are, that are six semitones apart. Uh, I don't know, I personally like it around two. Let's put it back to single. And then we also, I don't know if you can hear, there's releases. Uh, there are these dampers that hit the strings, and those are... And you can raise and lower the volumes of those. Here's with them completely off. And then, uh, I mean, you could put, put it way up if you really want that. <laughs> that's a bit much. Okay, let's move on. So that's all with the standard mix. Uh, and then we did two alternate mixes. One uh, is called a Baroque mix, which is more of a, a classical feel. It's a further sound uh, with a little bit more reverb. Let me see if I can tackle that Bach again. Uh. No, let's go to the single, not the buff. Almost there, the B minus. All right, so that's the Baroque. You still have all the the different stops. have the vintage which is a bit more of a direct sound let's go to uh let's do this one again So it's a great instrument. You get a lot of versatility out of Cine Harpsichord, and it's uh, it's very small in size. It is, let me see here, how big is it? Uh, it's four gigs. It's a four gig download uh, and gives you almost everything that you need uh, to, to add Harpsichord into your music. And um, we hope you like it. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.